Welcome to the bonus lesson number 72. In the first test already written for you, we're going to look at the page called Find Item Price. We already added an item with a price of $10. Now notice when we typed Apple into the Enter Item, the page made two network calls. One is to fetch the Apple and then to fetch the Apple price. If those two calls agree on the price, and let's see what we actually do. Let's look at the network. XHR, call the function again. Apple returns found object with price of 10, and the price call, the second one, returns just the price. If those two values agree, then it shows the price. Now your goal is to simulate an error, right? You, your goal is to intercept each network endpoint separately and return the price that are different. Okay, so what do we have to do? Well, we can enter the price the same way, right? But we have to intercept those two endpoints and we will return a stub, find item. And what we want to do is to use a regular expression because we don't know the name, right? We, we do know it, but we want to stop it in general. So we'll use a regular expression right here. So we need to escape forward slashes. And then at the end, we'll have another slash and finish the um, regex. Now, if we intercept it like this, notice it actually matches both calls, right? Okay, so we can say it followed by some characters. Okay, actually, let's just end like this. We're still matching fine item apple, fine item apple price, right? So how do we guarantee that we're matching just one call and then the price will be another? Well, the way I think about it is I use the fact that it has to be at the end. It has to end after those characters. So we'll use a dollar sign to stop the regular expression. Whatever we match, find item, forward by slash, forward by characters or numbers has to be at the end. So now it will only match the first call and not match the first call slash price. So this would be, let's say, as item. And another call would be same thing followed by price at the end. Okay, so this would be the price stop. And now notice they are separate. Okay, so the first thing can return something like found uh, price, let's say 20. Okay, and the second one still returns 10. And let's actually be explicit. So we don't even have to have an item we'll say price is equal to 10. Okay, and now all we have to do is to confirm that there is an error showing, which we can do by looking at the elements not found. Okay, so this contains sign, contains not found, and let's say price mismatch. So this is how I would write regular expression where there is the same substring in both URLs, you just look at where it's at and you use the end of a string regular expression.